Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna learn how to use Charles Proxy to debug our applications. Also, you can create a mox and you can see all the network requests, all the information. So let's get started. First, this is the official web page. You need to click here to download and then we are going to install Charles Proxy in our Mac. This is the main interface and first we need to do some important things. We need to connect our mobile device in the same network of our MacBook. In this example both devices are connected in the same network Wi-Fi. We need to grant privilege. And this is the main interface of the Charles proxy. Well, next step is install the certificate in our mobile device we can click this option and in our mobile device we need to click in this URL to configure proxy we use this IP address server is and the port is 8888 once this is ready we can click and we can check the allow option this can download the certificate and we check allow and check iPhone our profile is downloaded so then navigate on general and this is the downloaded profile we need to install and then install once this is ready we need to go to about certificate trust settings and enable Charles proxy root certificate and that's it now we can navigate last step is check the endpoint in my case this is and we need to enable SSL proxy also we need to focus and now we can see the traffic of our mobile app we can see the information of the network AP calls for example, if I search another movie, we can see the search with the APK, API, API key. We can see all the information with this tool. Then I'm going to show you how to create custom mocks use you need to copy of hello guys this is another example of how to create mocks using Charles proxy in this example I have this weather app so first we need to identify which is the endpoint in this case this is openweathermap.org first we need to check the enable SSL proxy 
and also we need to enable this option focus the next time we retrieve the information for example search again we can see the information here in our charts proxy and this is the network response in the JSON file and this is other way we can copy all the all the information we can create new file empty file and mock weather and we are going to save locally in our documents folder once this file is created this is the the file if you can see in our mobile app the temperature is 26.9 degree so we can easily change the temperature for example 56 look that save the json file and we need to click and enable the option that is called map local and we need to choose this uh, json file is mockweather.json select and ok the next time we search for another city for example new york the temperature ah, we need to use the same the same name for example acapulco again and you can see now the temperature is 56.9 this is the exactly the same endpoint with the same information and you can see you can see this is in the notes part map it to local file and this is very useful way to create your own mocks with your custom data sorry this is very useful way to test your mobile applications also create your custom data response and this way you can work better so see you in the next video